And I want to share with you the plans for the uh, this next uh, this next year. It's really um, next twelve months going forward. First of all, we're going to follow the Lord's leading. Secondly, we're going to start broadcasting a weekly radio program, prime time, seven pm every Friday and during the week. Uh, through Radio East Africa, reaching a potential audience of 230 million people across six countries, many of whom... Say that number again. 230 million across six countries, many of whom uh, speak English or have English as a strong second language. This is an ex-British colony area. Um, so in the uh, middle years of Dez's ministry, he'll be reaching vastly more people all in one go than he ever did in the beginning. <laughs> That's right. And uh, we're going to also secure and establish our own radio station in Uganda. Uh, that has been offered to us, but still we haven't got it in writing. We're still waiting for that. It does take a little while to come through and we're going to have to run that. And we will, uh, that will be 24-7 Good News Unlimited broadcasting in, in, in English. Um, that, that covers, mm, I, think, uh, I think initially it'll, it'll reach a potential audience. I uh, don't the numbers, I think it's about 20 million, but we are able to boost it over time to reach a vastly larger um, audience if, if we need to do that. We're going to be commencing a weekly TV gospel broadcast in Andhra Pradesh um, in India, and these will be the same messages that we broadcast here, uh, but they'll be uh, translated and rebroadcast by Pastor Joseph, who's a magnificent speaker in, in Telugu, his, his own language. Um, I've heard him preach. He's, he's, he's wonderful. Um, and we have the arrangements with the TV station all set up. All we need to do is start recording. And so that will be uh, happening also by December, as with the, um, uh, the uh, Radio East Africa uh, deal will be starting in December as well. We're going to uh, be printing and distributing many more copies of books, um, a lot of Jesus only. It's already in six languages. It's been translated to two more, but the, which is being overwhelmed by demand from, from around the world. Um, the really interesting thing about this is that uh, these books are being distributed in, uh, in, you know, largely in Africa where there's not a writing culture, so it's very hard to get the stories back. Um, nevertheless, and, and these are people who don't have the means of technology that we have. Many of them have never seen a computer. Um, Witness Pastor Joseph. Uh, he was on his bike, literally. Um, I mean, I've seen him. That's what he does. Uh, so, you know, we thank God for the ministry that, uh, that our publications are doing and for the wonderful stories we do get back. You know, we feature some of the best of them on, on the magazine. We're also going to um, develop a range of uh, small gospel booklets, uh, no more than, well, little books, no more than 5,000 words each, uh, very simple books, that we can uh, distribute by the hundreds of thousands to, uh, to people who need them, to other gospel ministries, to chaplaincies, to develop on our behalf, which will uh, not only help get the message out there, but it will also raise our profile in many countries. We're going to continue categorisation, Des's hundreds and hundreds and thousands and thousands of hours of video and audio and print content, which you are putting on our website, um, even though it's there and you'll find it if you scroll through eventually, after days of scrolling through, you might find what you're looking for in some cases um, because we're just putting some, there's a whole lifetime's work or half a lifetime's work there um, already. And uh, so, but we need to categorize it. If, if you want to volunteer to help listen to Des' sermons and, and give us a few keywords or, um, you know, whether they're videos or audios, then that would be really appreciated. That's a, uh, that's a work that we need done and we want to do that and start, make big headway in the next 12 months. And the other thing that we, do, uh, we want to do, which I probably forgot to mention, is that in all things we want to follow the Lord's leading. So uh, that was the last slide that I didn't show you before, um, but I'm, I think that's important to share with you. And I, I want to make myself available now if anyone has any question about Good News Unlimited and what, uh, what we've been doing, what we're doing, what we're intending to do, uh, you're welcome to ask me now. Uh, while I have the microphone and everyone can hear the answer. Um, if, if not, then you're welcome to, uh, to follow the chirping grasshopper sound and, <laughs> and just uh, find me after, over a drink or, a, or something. Yes. Um, you went, oh, microphone for this. You went um, overseas last, well, within this year to 
um, Belgium and Europe. Have you got any more plans for GNU taking events overseas? There was a there was a gospel camp meeting planned in February, and there was discussion about that, but. Uh, uh, that doesn't look like it's coming to fruition the way that we'd like to see it. Um, we, we want things to be very solid and well planned, uh, obviously, if we're going to spend the resources in, in, in supporting them. Um, at this stage, we are looking in, in July to run a one-week evangelistic crusade in Kenya where people from various countries will be coming and a lot of our people from a lot of uh, the our affiliated ministries in Africa will be joining in. The, the, the local pastor there who's the main person organising it is hoping for 300 baptisms. I'm putting it out there. I mean, the Lord may, may deign to give us, you know, um, uh, many more. Um, but whatever the results are, they're going to be glorious for, for his kingdom. And after that, to, to make it efficient, the discussion is, and the board hasn't approved it yet, this is, we don't even have dates, and uh, my wife hasn't approved it yet, the, uh, Pastor David would like me to travel to Brussels and conduct another week of, evangelist, of gospel seminars. There's a great need there. There's a whole Rwandan community, um, and you would have seen Priscilla's story in the, in the latest issue of the magazine. Look out for Rose's story in the, in the next one. You know, it's even more amazing. And both of these uh, wonderful women I, I met in, in Brussels, of course, but there are many more people who, who need this ministry uh, there. As well, uh, then, uh, we've also been invited straight after that to do another week in Sweden where uh, we have another uh, affiliated uh, gospel ministry and, uh, and a church that is very interested in, in supporting us if we, if we go there for a week. So I try, I try to avoid travelling. Uh, I love, uh, I'm a homebody, but travelling is very good for Good News Unlimited and for sharing the gospel and for generating stories. It's, it's, it's not always easy to get the stories unless you're there, you know, in front of people. Um, and, you know, if you're a preacher of the gospel, well, you have to go and preach the gospel where, where there's a need and where you're called uh, as well. I, I can't just sit, you know, at, uh, uh, at my desk and, and pretend that the world revolves around me. It's not how it is when you're a servant. Thank you.